Hey guys, it's Shanae Michelle and welcome back to my channel. So I told you guys I was going to bring you this tutorial on how to do this side part swoop and I'm here to give it to you today. So if you want to see how I achieve this side part swoop, go ahead and continue watching. So for starters, the tools that you will mainly need for this style is a regular rat tail comb. This one is um, heat resistant. I got it from like the beauty supply store. You will need some wax, a wax stick. Let's see if we can focus. This one is from this one. come on. This one is from Hair by Erica J. And then a very, very, very hot hot comb. Like this one is not a plug and it goes straight on the stove. So this one gets gets hotter than the plug-in one, which is why I like it. And then my holy girl products, some bio silk because I like my hair looking shiny and silky, especially when I'm about to flat iron it. So some bio silk. And then just a little brush. It doesn't matter the size. It could be a brush bigger than this, but just a brush. And a mini edge brush, like a three one tool, just so you you can fix up your baby hairs if you decide to have baby hairs. So first off, I'm going to part my side part. As you can see, my hair is looking a mess, but it's about to get fixed. So you want to part your side part. And the way the style goes, you want to make sure that you part all the way in the back to have hair covering up the back because this, this bang is going to go down forward. So you want to make sure you have hair covered in the back. So here's when the wax comes into place. I'm going to start waxing this whole area. I'm not using a lot. I'm literally just going to do a couple of lines. Going down. Just to have those hairs. As you can see, it's already starting to get slick. Just to have those hairs slick down. Some back hair. Also. Now we're going to start combing my hair i've already did this style my hair about two days ago so my hair is already kind of trained to do this swoop but basically the most important part is the hot comb and hot combing this whole area down so that is flat you might have to be hot combing you might have to hot comb this area 10 times but this is the number one Tool that you need for this suit and as you can see as I'm hot combing it it's getting flatter and flatter so now what we're gonna do is basically kind of section off this whole frontal Now just tuck this here behind my ear and take this and kind of start forming this root. So I want my edges out on the side and I also want this little hump in the swoop. So I'm going to just start combing down. I don't know if you can see right here, but it kind of has this hump. So I'm doing this, I'm kind of combing up first. And then coming down. And now I'm going to start forming the swoop. So after the hair, ooh, so after the hair seems like it's trained and it wants to go in the area or the motion that you want it to go to, you want to just put all the hair behind your ears. And then take your comb and just start forming it. So now that the hair is already behind your ears, it's gonna stay there and it's gonna form on its own. So now after that part, you just have to really play with it. 
and make the soup how you want it. You can have it deep or you can have it like closer to the hairline. I like mine's in between. I like it kind of deep. little flyaways right there so I'm gonna just take more of this wax stick Now I'm taking my comb, I mean not my comb, my brush, and doing the same thing that I was doing with the comb, but it said the brush kind of forms the hair more. The comb is more for placing the hair where you want it at first, and then the brush will just smooth everything back out. You want to make sure that your bang is not stringy because that's a lot of, that's a problem that I see a lot of girls have, like it's like really thin and stringy in the front. And just a whole bunch of loose hairs out of place. And that's not cute at all. Alright, now my bank is looking how I want it to look. Now I'm going to go ahead and fix up my baby hairs. And honestly, I don't really put bobby pins on my bang. I mean, you can if you want it to stay, but it kind of stay either way behind your ear. But if you just feel like you want it more secure, you can go ahead and put a bobby pin right here behind your ear. For me, I don't feel like I need to put a bobby pin. So now we're gonna start flat ironing my hair. So now we're gonna take my bio silk and basically put this all throughout my hair. Uh, this much. Put it all throughout my hair and throughout my bang. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take my hand and let this one. And it gives it a nice little shiny finish. I feel like it's not too much, but just enough to make that bang look sleek. And as you can see, it's looking sleek. Like, you can even lie. My silk is so good for natural hair and for weave. It just basically, it's like a serum, so it's basically moisturizing your hair. And if you put heat to your hair, it makes it silky straight. I put in my natural hair too, like when I'm just, when I'm washing my hair. Okay. So now that that's all on my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my baby hairs. Oh, my flat iron is heating up. And I had two soups right here, so I'm gonna just fix those soups.
cheeks curl a little bit, so I'm gonna bump my ends just a little bit. And I am about to fly on my hair the lazy way. Just for the sake of this video. I'm taking my Babyliss um, Prima 3000. There we go. Prima? Yeah. So I'm really gonna fly iron. I think it was like, I paid probably 170 from Ulta, but it's a really good fly iron and it heats up literally instantly. I just did my baby hairs first just because I wanted to get it out the way, but it was already done heating while, like literally when I clicked the button on it. So that's a really good fly iron. this stuff right now right here i have a bedazzled clip this is from my collection shania styles collection and you can put this in your hair if you want to make the style look even cuter you can put it on this side i'm gonna go ahead and put it in for you guys so you can see So you can put it on this side. It's looking really cute, really girly. It says girls. And it kind of just, ooh, what are you doing, sis? Go down. Thank you. <laughs> it just adds a kind of like little cute, girly look to it. Or you can add it on this side. I can show you how it looks on this side. You can add it on this side too. It just gives another like different look to the style. All right, but that's it for this video today, guys. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial on how to do this sleek side part swoop. And make sure you guys are following my social medias down below. Make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn that bell notification on so you can know when I post another YouTube video because I need